Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nurse Eva again, and I hope you're all doing okay, guys. So for today's video, I'm just gonna share to you what really happened to me three months ago, and this is also to give awareness to everyone because anything can happen, so we just have to be very careful with our health. So if you're interested, just keep in mind. <music> generalized exanthematous fasciolosis. I just heard it. And today guys, I'll just share to you my story about my skin condition. So three months ago, I was diagnosed with a very rare skin condition, which is AGIP, which stands for acute generalized exanthematous fasciolosis. So it's exanthematous because it's skin eruption. So the rash just started from my tummy and it's generalized because it's affecting all over my body. It started from my lower extremities, my chest area, and the last eruptions were on my neck and my face, few rashes in my face. So it, it was really hard guys. So um, I asked my doctor what triggered it because I never had any history. So I did some research because it's my first time to hear this condition, it's very rare. It's only affecting three to five people in a million. So imagine that. And I was the first case uh, that my doctor was dealing with. So until now, guys, I'm still in therapy. So basically, Asia is a very rare skin condition, commonly caused by a severe drug reaction. But I'm not on any drugs, so that's excluded. So it's 90% is caused by s drugs. And I'm, I'm excluded with that because I'm not on any medication. I'm just taking supplements, which I've been taking for more than two years now. So 10%, it could be caused by any viral infections. So it could be one of the reasons. It's because I work in a COVID unit and we have COVID patients, but I'm fully vaccinated and thanks God I am. So it just came out all of a sudden, guys. I was still working a night shift that time, and then that was the end of my night shift. We had some Indian takeaways with my colleagues, and then on that day, after finishing night shift, I noticed some few rashes in my tummy, which I just ignore because sometimes when you get rashes, like you just ignore them and they will just go away. But then when I woke up on that day, um, I noticed that the rashes spread to to the lower part of my tummy and even I got a few rashes on my skin and as you can see I still have the, the scars there or the hyperpigmentation. So it started becoming itchy so I just put some calamine lotion and I took some antihistamines because they were over the counter drugs so I was hoping that it would just go away but then the next day it became worse and I had trouble sleeping and just my partner noticing some rashes on my back as well and it's pretty bad so um, he was alarmed and he said that we need to call the GP and I never had a GP because like I was never been sick although we're required to get a GP here in Ireland so if you get sick leave you need some certificate from your GP and unfortunately I don't have a GP yet so we had to call a doctor to visit the house because we're still on level five restrictions at the time. So we're still in lockdown and for, we need to book an appointment to visit the GP and some GP, they won't accept new patient. So we had to call the 24 hours um, home GP to come over and check the rashes and she was surprised. And she said that it's really bad. It's a severe form of allergies and she said she can't give any medications at home. She needs to refer me to the hospital. And then I went to the hospital and I was admitted because my rushes were really bad and it's roasting, so that's a white word. It's very hot and I couldn't sleep at night. So they were suspecting initially the primary diagnosis was an autoimmune condition like postular psoriasis. So it's a skin autoimmune condition. And I never had any history and even my family, we don't have history of autoimmune condition. So they had to do some biopsy. So they took samples from the rashes and they studied it because they thought it's a postular psoriasis. It's postular because it comes in a postule. 
so there's some um, white pustule but it's very small so they can only see that under the microscope so the biopsy came back negative guys so i was it's mind-boggling and i was very depressed and frustrated of what happened to me because i never expect that i would get this type of condition it just came out all of a sudden so they started me on topical creams like corticosteroids and also antihistamines and some emollients i had i had three creams that day and they want me to be on it for a week and they they observed me and there was no improvement at all so unfortunately they have to proceed to the next level of, of treatment which is the immunosuppressant therapy so they started me in cyclosporin guys so that's what happened guys and so i always go to the doctor for a follow-up checkup and for blood as well because if you're on immunosuppressant like cyclosporin therapy you need to have your blood test done because it could affect your kidney function and your liver function so they have to make sure that your renal function are still normal and one of the side effects as well is hypertension so it will cause high blood pressure and during the therapy i can really feel it like i feel like my blood pressure is very high, like I have signs and symptoms like lightheadedness, just feeling very warm, sometimes headaches. So when they check my blood pressure, they even went to 160 over 90. And my baseline is 110 over 80 and 110 over 70. So it's a bit scary, but I had no other choice and I, I trust my doctors. So I just want to get over with it. And thanks God, after almost two months and I went home to the Philippines that really helped because I just stayed in, in a province and it's totally a different environment so I think that helped my recovery and then I got back here in Ireland middle of May and I'm still on the therapy because the doctors can stop can't stop it right away it should be decreased titrated and then they will stop it if you're already on the lowest dose just a piece of advice to everyone like i know that some of us here we don't know if you have any allergies or it could be some triggers so you just have to be very mindful of the food that you eat and of course look after your health stay fit and healthy and if you notice some strange rashes all over your body or even if you're rashes just be cautious and you can just go to the doctor and have yourself checked so you'll be treated right away if it's something concerning. All right, guys, I think that's it for now. So I will make another blog about the progress of my um, therapy and, of course, my skin condition. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to my story and thank you for watching this video. And keep safe and I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye!